for breakfast, so I'm eating a fruit and nut mix mixed in um, almond milk. Hey guys, it is Melanie Lee, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a review of Loving Earth Vegan Chocolate. You have no idea how excited and happy I am right now. So I have been vegan for about three and a half years now, except this might be some news for people who are now watching me. Over the last month, I've been traveling for quite a while. While I was on vacation, I was on vacation with my parents. As you guys know, I have been dealing with bloating and just feeling really restricted mainly because I constantly have to eat out. That's just the way that my lifestyle is and how I work. Um, I would of course love to change that. And I've been really, really low on energy and sleep and just oh, so many different things. If you guys are curious about that, I'll link another video uh, talking about those things down below. But I decided to start eating fish and eggs. So basically just salmon and eggs about a month ago. And since doing so, my skin has broke out like no other. It has been really, really bad. I've been trying everything I know how to do to fix it, and to be honest, the only thing that I see clearing up my skin is going back vegan. I've done it for two days, and my skin clears up, and then as soon as I eat fish and eggs again, my skin gets really bad again. So, I started eating fish and eggs just to see if it was going to help, but obviously, um, well, it did help. I do have a lot more energy. I definitely feel less restricted. I'm deciding to go back vegan very soon. Um, but one awesome thing I'm so excited to try is vegan chocolate because, again, the restriction and that kind of thing does has been weighing on me a little bit more. And that being said, I have tried other vegan chocolate. <laughs> what? I have tried other vegan chocolates before at Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, and there's a cute little place at our mall here called Lolly and Pops. They do have really awesome vegan chocolate brands. However, all of the other vegan chocolates I've ever tried are either, no, they're just like dark chocolate, and I hate dark chocolate. To me, it tastes like stomach acid, like throw up, and if you like dark chocolate, like, how do you like that? Like, I like sometimes dark coffee, but I cannot do dark chocolate. That's, yeah, I just, I need something sweet here and there every once in a while. So anyways, I still to this day have not found an actual vegan chocolate brand or product that I actually enjoy. I am so hoping that Loving Earth is gonna change my mind and I'm gonna be addicted and then I have to keep ordering these from Australia. So Loving Earth, if I love these chocolates, I'm gonna be spending a lot of money <laughs> and on shipping, that is for sure. So before I get into testing out the chocolates here, Organic Chocolate Makers, they are plant-based lovers, climate warriors, non-GMO, fair trade, all of that looks absolutely amazing. So what happened here? I was down the rabbit hole of the internet trying to find vegan chocolates and I ordered this huge box here. Oh! huge box here of vegan chocolate. Now, when I got this box in the mail and they was delivered at my door, I was like, how many chocolates did I order? <laughs> I don't remember ordering that much, but I opened this and I was like, oh my God, I don't even know how much they charge. Uh, did I just spend like $500 on chocolates? Cause that's how big this thing is. So what happened, I opened this, there is huge, heavy, dry ice bags in here, and basically this entire thing is um, of the styrofoam kind of stuff in there. Anyways, the package that actually came out of this huge box was this big. So I was like, oh, okay, thank God. But also kind of sad, because I'm like... Your supply of chocolate. So it only came with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven chocolates, they look so pretty. Seven chocolates here. I have, which by the way, the packaging is like so cute, I love it. Um, this is salted caramel. Then we have organic cashew milk chocolate with raw hush something cacao. <laughs> we have an organic plant-based mint dark chocolate truffle with peppermint essential oil. Raspberry cashew milk chocolate with raw something cacao. We have another one which is organic bean to bar creamy coconut milk chocolate with raw, you the same thing, cacao. <laughs> we have another dark chocolate and a cheesecake lemon caramel organic chocolate. 
Guys, I want these to last. <laughs> they were expensive. I want to go in my pantry and be like, ooh, I need chocolate. Be like, mm, I'm gonna pick this one. So I, but also here right now, I want to review all of these for you guys. So I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. Um, let's just open up the first one. I want to see if, you know, if I take a piece out, if I can wrap it back up in a plastic bag and keep them for later. Uh, that way I'm not wasting any of them. And I can also come back to them eventually, if you know what I mean. Um, so which one do I want to try? first so i have four that just by the sound and look of them that i'm like really intrigued by which is the cashew milk one salted caramel creamy and cheesecake the ones that i'm not super into just yet are the mint dark chocolate and raspberry because those all look more um of like the darker flavors so i'm gonna open up the let's do creamy this is 100 percent plant-based soy-free cane sugar-free non-gmo composable packaging and direct trade chocolate Ooh. Oh, it's really good. <gasps> okay, so they come in like little squares, which is awesome. That way I can test each one. So this is actually perfect. Oh, that smells actually so freaking good. That is perfect. Oh my goodness. It is like not too salty, not too sweet, not too dark, not too milky. This one's awesome. I wanna start making it like a pile and a list of which ones are my favorite, which are my least favorite. Also in between, because I haven't eaten breakfast yet and I'm not eating chocolate for breakfast because that would be weird. Okay, so now we are going to try the salted caramel. Ooh, okay. This one is with cashews, coconut, and cacao. This one doesn't look like it has a percentage of um, the chocolate. So maybe this one is actually super sweet. These are all weird. They're like not how you would expect them to, but once you eat it, they're like really good for what they are. But the flavors are just so different. I've honestly, I've never tried anything salted caramel before. Like in anything, cupcake, chocolate, like anything you can think of, I've never tried salted caramel. Even coffee. I'm not good at flavors. <laughs> that one I really like. This one definitely tastes more like um, like ice cream with caramel on it. With the pinch of salt, I guess that's what it's supposed to be. So I think this the caramel definitely stands out more than the salt does, which is good. Wow, that's just like a perfect mixture. So I really do like that one. Uh, but I like the creamy chocolatey -er taste more. I'm not a super caramely person. I like a hint of caramel, but I think because it's salted, having more caramel is better. Cause I don't really like, I love salty foods, but I don't like salty and sweet together. But the way that that is all working out, it just, they did it good. <laughs> Next, I want to try the cashew milk. This is, 45% cacao and 28% cashews. It looks like it's going to be a little bit more of a dark, darker tasting chocolate one. So, and it looks a lot darker than the other ones. Oh no, but let's try it. It smells dark. Ugh. Actually, holy crap, that one is my favorite. I would say this creamy one tastes more like dark chocolate than this one does, and this one tastes more creamy than this does. Did I say that right? This is by far my favorite so far, by far. I would love to make a vegan banana ice cream and like just crumble these on top. Oh, or like a vegan banana bread and like crumble these inside the bread. Wow, that one's good. So I put the cashew milk first. That one's definitely by far my favorite. I love cheesecake, love cheesecake. Strawberry, raspberry, my favorite. But this, I've never tried lemon cheesecake and this is vegan cheesecake, lemon, caramel, and chocolate. This sounds like a whole bunch of things going on. But I'm so excited, let's try this. By the way, it's been so easy to open and just get enough, let's get one of the little squares out. Ooh, ooh, that is weird. It smells like if you mixed agave and lemons together. That's it, just agave and lemon.
it's good. It is good. It's not bad. It's good. But the flavor, it's just confusing. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. I think if I tried that first, I'd be like, whoa, this is interesting. But I mean, it's interesting. That's for sure. I'm just thinking like, it's not the best. But I get it. It makes sense. Like if you love lemon, you'll love this. If you love like caramel lemon, you'll love it. Cheesecake though, I think if they went with like a white chocolate cheesecake raspberry or strawberry, hear me? Like that sounds good. Yeah, it's okay. Not my favorite. I'll probably put this at the end. Now it's time to get into these ones, <laughs> which I know I'm not gonna like this dark chocolate one. So time to clear out the mouth. This is the dark chocolate one. We're just gonna go ahead and get this over with. This is dark organic chocolate with 72% raw cacao. We both know that this isn't gonna work. Oh, it's like black. I'm just gonna get this over with. Oh, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> oh! Mm. I can't finish it, I can't finish it. Mm-mm, okay, I'm gonna have them. Okay, <laughs> that was gross. I hate dark chocolate. <laughs> There's only one thing more that I hate than dark chocolate. The face that I make when I eat dark chocolate. This is going obviously at the end. I'm just gonna take a guess, raspberry, is going to be better than mint, but let's find out. Oh, this is raspberry cashew milk chocolate with raw cacao, 44% cacao, 24% cashews. So let's see how this goes. Oh, hmm. it smells like it's gonna be dark. The raspberry goes good with like the darkness of the chocolate, but if I didn't know that there was raspberry in it, I probably wouldn't even notice. It's a very, very faint raspberry flavor to it. It's really good, actually. It's pretty good. I don't think, though, that it's better than the cheesecake. At this point, I think the cheesecake is better. So we're gonna put this one right in front of the dark chocolate. And for the final test, we are going to do the mint. This is dark chocolate truffle with peppermint essential oil and crunchy raw cacao nibs. Now, cacao nibs. Let's talk about cacao nibs. They look amazing. In theory, they they seem amazing. You can put them in like a, on top of a smoothie. You can decorate your smoothie acai bowls with them. But do they taste good, right? Like they seem like it would be add a nice crunch to things and the sweetness. But like cacao nibs are like little pebbles of stomach acid to me, and I don't like it in my food. <laughs> Uh, I also hate dark chocolate. This looks freaking blacker and darker than the dark chocolate does. Why did I not read this and decide to go with the other one first? Oh. Okay, let's turn this into a game. <laughs> Objective, to pretend to like it. I'm pretty sure I'm not. Oh. It smells just like the sweet chocolates you get at um, Olive Garden, which by the way, I'm gonna ruin it for you. Olive Garden does not make those. They just put a packaging on them from Olive Garden. You can literally buy the exact same things at stores. So just hold up. Okay, so I'm going to try to eat this and not make a face. <laughs> it's gonna be so hard. It smells good. Like, if I could just pretend that it's I'm at Olive Garden and literally ate nothing because all I can get there is sauteed vegetables and cooked in oil instead of butter and they're still nasty. Yay, let's try to eat this. Until the kick, like the dark chocolate kicked in, and then I was like, ooh, 
<clears throat> and then I had a piece of the cacao nib, and I'm like, oh, crunchy and minty. It felt good eating it. Like the texture, everything, the aroma of the mint. <laughs> it all worked out together. And the only thing, if there was no dark chocolate and the cacao nibs were sweet, I would love it. <laughs> I actually did enjoy chewing on the cacao nibs. I added that really good crunch until the flavor kicked in. And then I'm like, ooh, ooh I wish I could back out right now, but I can't. So I'm going to put this actually between raspberry and dark chocolate because it definitely was not as bad as the dark chocolate. So the winner, in my opinion, is the cashew milk. This one by far the best. And I think the only thing that would make this better if I kept it in the fridge because that has like a cold crunch to it. By far my favorite. That was absolutely delicious. Definitely, definitely, I will continue to order this and keep my pantry full and stocked for at least like a month or so because I probably won't even eat all of these in a month. Um, I probably have a whole thing in a month, maybe. <laughs> maybe if I get like order three at a time, that will last me quite a while. That way when I want something sweet as being vegan, I can go just go straight to here. This is quick and easy. <coughs> um, so my second is the creamy. Again, I thought this was really good. Um, I thought this was actually going to be my favorite until I tried the other one, and then the other one was my favorite. So, salted caramel. I've never been a salted caramel kind of girl, but it doesn't really taste a whole bunch like the salted caramel stuff, but it does if you, I don't know. I, I can't describe this good enough. Cheesecake was pretty good. Um, again, it's very interesting. It has a really interesting uh, flavor here, which is... I don't know, it's interesting, but I will probably eat it every once in a while. Um, now, raspberry, <laughs> then we got the mint, and then we have the dark chocolate. <laughs> These three, again, I guess they were not going to be my favorite. I knew it. Um, how did I know? I don't know. God, probably because they all say dark chocolate on them. Raspberry, it was actually okay. Um, I will probably be giving this one away. Same with the mint, and of course, this one. Um, my boyfriend's parents love dark chocolate, and they're also healthy and health conscious, um, so I know they will love these, so I am going to gift these to them, even though I took a bite out of them. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below to my channel. If you guys would like to be notified every time I post a new video, press the little bell button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.